you can think of at least one person in your life who always has something bad to say. They always have something they can complain about. And they always find a person that they can talk shit about. You see, these people just run off negative energy. I call them energy vampires. And all they do is when they see someone who is pursuing something, who's passionate about something, a person who's stepping outside of their comfort zone due to their own personal insecurities, they have to tear them down. They have to bring them back to the low vibration that these vampires live their whole life on. Seeing people passionate about the gym, passionate about personal development, maybe it's even earning an income that they wanna be proud of or posting content, whatever it is, these people need to chime in. And quite frankly, there's no other way to put this. These are the worst people that you could ever be around. But it's important that you understand that one thing. If you ever want to do something big in this world, these people will always be around. The people who talk behind your back in this world are never in front of you, they're behind you. You see, shit talking comes from the bottom, not the top. And here's the simple truth about the matter. You shouldn't be concerned about having haters. You should be concerned about having these people or listening to the noise from the outside. You should be concerned about the opposite. Because if you don't have these people in your life, people that are doubting you, these haters, these naysayers, whatever you want to call them, you're just doing what everyone else is doing. You're unrecognizable. And more than likely, you're just trying to fit in with the crowd. When you're just around people who are addicted to negative thoughts, who cannot stand to see people doing better than them, it's literally just a sad existence. And if you're the person who's stuck in these thought patterns, right? You, you can't think positive. You always view this world as this cold, gruel, dark place that wants to take everything you have. It, because of that, it makes you unlucky. If you view life this way, no person, and literally, I mean this, no person with any amount of success will ever want to be around you because of your mindset. Stop viewing the world as this dark, cruel, evil place that just wants to take everything you have. It doesn't want to make you successful. It doesn't want to see you have abundance in your life. Stop viewing it as that way. Because whatever you view of this world, it will become what you view of it. If I view it as this, this evil, cold place that wants to keep me in this dark season of my life, whatever it is, dude, it's just going to stay that way. That, that's literally what I will find. My brain will look for ways, look for reasons to prove me right. I've said this before. It's the same reason you drive down the street, right? You wanted to buy that car, your dream car. Let's say it's a BMW, right? I guarantee next time you drive down that street, you will see more BMWs because your brain moves towards what it's familiar with. And genuinely think, what benefit, what benefit does it serve you to think in, in this just dark, negative connotation it serves you nothing besides the little dopamine hit that you get from complaining from talking shit that's it and think about how sad this is those moments of happiness for these people come from negativity come from complaining come from bitching come from just being rude shitting on other people who are chasing dreams they could never pursue and i want to tell you a dark truth who the fuck cares what these people think because at the end of the day would you ever want the approval from someone you never would want to be like in the first place so you have to get rid of it plain and simple if it's you work on it and address it that's the first step towards real change is acknowledging it and i know at first it's difficult to change the way you think but you can control your attitude that much i promise you and i know this because i've been this person like the person I'm describing, I've literally been this person. And the first thing that I did was just change the way I would talk, not only to myself, but to others, right? If I saw someone succeeding, I'd appreciate greatness. If I got dealt just a shit hand in life, that's the way it's supposed to be. That, that's what I'm supposed to go through to turn me into the person I'm supposed to become. You got to view it to your benefit. View it as I'm lucky view it that all this stuff in the world is happening for you not to you and eventually it's going to become normal but at first it's going to seem like an act it's going to seem like you're putting on this front and that's what you have to do and then eventually you get to this point where it becomes your new normal and your brain adjusts you and i both know the phrase if you put good into the world eventually the good comes back to you if you do this you attract some good things in your life maybe luck starts to favor you but I promise you, those two things, those two benefits, are completely canceled out. If you have this just, just shitty, dark, depressing, 
honestly terrible mindset that serves no one in this world. And getting away from this is the first step in the right direction. By getting away from this type of thinking, you get around the thinking that actually works, that actually moves the needle forward. The same mindset that people who actually pursue great things in this world have. And by being around that, it's going to open way more doors in your life. It's the same reason why I launched the free community. If you're serious about the gym, if you're serious about personal development, if you're serious about increasing your income, the community is for you. If you're not, that's fine. Do what you have to do and we'll get there eventually. The community is for people who have this mindset. Because no one, I don't care what you say, literally no one wants to be around this person who's got this dark, depressing, just mindset that sucks. And I get it, man. Life might be tough right now. You might be dealt a shit hand. But you can control the way you think. And don't, oh, I can't control the way you think. You can. That's probably one of the only things you have absolute control over. So work on it. I know it might not change overnight. I know it might not change tomorrow. But eventually, if you keep being conscious of your thoughts, your brain will adjust. You will make the adjustments that you need. Stay focused. Stay on your commitments. And I'll see you tomorrow.